we are going to solve a quantitative aptitude question the question is shown consider following multiplication problem pq into 3 is equal to rqq where p q and r are different digits and r is not equal to 0 so what is the value of p plus r divided by q options are given a b c d now we'll see the solution now before we see the solution we'll see the question once again there's a number p q this is a two digit number it is multiplied by 3 result is r q q that means the result must have this digit appearing twice at unit place and tenth place so this is the meaning of this multiplication and to solve this we will find out the values of p u and r and then we'll do this sum so hope question is clear i'll erase the markings so in the question it is given p q into 3 is equal to r q q now we have to find out value of p and q so this is the equation actually but this equation cannot be solved because it has got three unknowns that is p q and r there are three unknowns here and equation is only one so with one equation we cannot solve three unknowns so we have to adopt method of trial and error this first point second point is that uh, in many leading coaching classes i seen that this question has been solved in a wrong manner they have put up the the unit and tenth place values of this thing p and q and they, they are trying to solve it but uh, that method is not correct so we'll see the method now here this is p q into 3 is equal to r q q that means p q this is two digit number when it is getting multiplied by 3 we should get result as r q q so we'll see now q is equal to let's see value of q first so q is equal to 0 so when is q is equal to 0 unit place we are getting 0 that means p 0 is equal to r then we are getting 0 here this 0 will get when we are working out value of p so this is meeting the requirement but we cannot adopt this because value of r cannot be 0 now i will explain this little further that suppose that value of p is uh, sorry value of q is taken as 0 so that means the result should be 0 here then we should get one more 0 here to get this 0 the value of p should be such that uh, it's got uh, 0 at its unit place so either it should be 0 or 10 now when value of p is taken as 0 the whole number will become 0 and r will also be 0 this is actually not acceptable because of the condition given in the question and when we take p as 10 that is also not possible because p is a single digit number and 10 is a two digit number so hope this is clear so i'll erase the markings now other values of q are 1 so we get 3 here that means p 1 here and r we get 3 so 3 3 so this is not meeting requirement because here it is 1 and here it is 3 so what is required is that this also should be 1 actually so we are not getting the required condition so let's check other values of uh, possible values of q 2 when you put 2 we get 6 likewise but when we are putting value of q as 5 we get 15 so this is meeting our requirement because this is 5 and the unit digit is also 5 so this we shortlist then other digits you check you are putting 6 we get 8 here we put 7 we get 1 here and we put 8 we are getting 4 here so none of other digit is actually getting meeting the requirement so this becomes one value of the q so i'll erase the markings now in similar manner we work out value of p so what is the requirement for p the the for q we have seen that we need unit digit at both the places 
now p should be such number that when it is multiplied by 3 when p is multiplied by 3 the result must be r which is a different number and the same number as q so when p is multiplied by 3 we should get multiplication result as 5 now remember that uh, here it is 15 and we have adopted 5 so 1 is still in carryover so that means if the end number is 4 then that can be adopted as value of p but this number should be in two digits that means p when multiplied by 3 the output should be in two digits and the end number should be 4 i'll erase the markings so for p so 1 is not meeting requirement because straight away you can discard it it is single digit actually these are all single digits here 12 is possible but uh, we want 4 here so that 4 plus 1 becomes 5 so that you get 5 at 2 places q q so when you get uh, when you multiply it by 5 5 when you put a 5 you get 15 this is two digit number but uh, this is also not meeting the requirement because here although it is 5 here but we got 1 in carryover so this 5 will become actually 6 this will become 16 so likewise we see other numbers so when we come to 8 we are getting 24 so when 24 and plus 1 of carry of carryover is added it becomes 25 so this is possibly meeting the requirement for value of p i'll erase the markings so for value of p we adopt 24 and for value of uh, sorry for value of uh, yes p we are adopting 24 and value of q we have shortlisted 5 so hope it is clear and anything which is not clear you can put it up in the comment box so now we can try it here only p is 8 and q is 5 85 into 3 is equal to 255 so that means p is 8 q is 5 and r becomes 2 so this is our possible solution this is our possible solution or this is the only solution whatever you say so we'll now see the further for the solution so we have short come down to P is equal to 8, Q is equal to 5 and R is equal to 2. So, 85 into 3 is equal to 255. So, this is satisfying that condition given in the question. P, Q into 3 is equal to R, Q, Q. So, now requirement is P plus R divided by Q. So, value of P is 8, value of R is 2. So, 8 plus 2 divided by 5 that is value of q so we get 2 here i'll just remove so let, let's see this again p plus r divided by q so p is 8 8 plus 2 10 divided by q that is 5 so 10 divided by 5 we get 2 so 2 is the answer so option is answer is option b 2 so hope it is clear because uh, the question is quite confusing and there is no set uh, actually method to answer this question. So thank you very much and thanks for watching.